Hello, Thursday the 27th of March 2014. I've just been watching this space programme from a couple of, year, uh, couple of weeks ago. I think it was on Channel 4. Um, 60 minutes around the world or something like that. Anyway, so they've got cameras, high definition cameras, on the International Space Station, right? And they've got the, the spacemen, spacemen, astronauts. They've got the astronauts on there and they're going to interview them and they're taking pictures of the Earth and they're zooming in and out of countries and things like that. And I thought, this looks really good. So the programme starts and we see the picture of the Earth and, and the, 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 the blue haze. What's that? The, is that the ozone layer? The, you know, the atmosphere going around it. I can't remember what that's called now. And uh, bits of the space station. You can see the, the, the arms sticking out with the solar panels. I thought this is going to be really good. And then the presenter came on. The presenter who hosts such other wonderful science programmes like The X Factor. Dermot O'Leary. Now, I quite like Dermot O'Leary. I think he's really good on the X Factor. But hosting a science programme, you've got to be having a laugh. He was well out of his depth. Didn't appear to quite know what was going on half the time. How can you possibly... Put someone like that in charge of a space programme. We want someone with a little bit of substance behind them. The ideal person, of course, Patrick Moore. But he's dead. OK, so we can't dig him up and put him on there. Brian Cox. There would have been the ideal man to host that programme. I'm sure there are others who would have been as good as Brian Cox. But they didn't have Brian Cox. They didn't have anyone who was anything to do with science hosting that programme. It was Dermot O'Leary. Now, this is not to run down Dermot O'Leary, because he's very good at hosting the entertainment type things. He does a little show on radio too. It's very good. But not hosting a space programme, for God's sake. Are you out of your heads? And I'm watching this, and it got more, actually, it got more and more cringy. And in the end, I couldn't watch it anymore. Do please, those of you that put mainstream television programmes, you know, don't, don't look at me and say, well, you're never going to be on mainstream television. I know that. I am a YouTube presenter. That's where I fit in to this tiny little world of media. I'm just a little lowly old YouTube presenter with an opinion. But if you're going to do big budget programmes like this, for Christ's sake, Put someone on there with a little bit of substance behind them who will actually know what they're talking about. Not reading out of a script or a book or off an auto cue. I want someone on there that I can watch. Maybe I won't understand what they're saying half the time, you know, because these are very clever people. But I'd rather see him, you know, see someone like Brian Cox or uh, the guy in the wheelchair or the really clever one. What's his name now? Damn. His name's gone out of my head. You know what I mean, didn't you? He's got the voice box and all that. Someone like him. Then I will believe what I'm hearing. He was well out of his depth. Anyway, that's my comments for today. See you for another little show tomorrow. Bye-bye.